Tim Shaw, uh, Car SOS in Sheffield, my hometown, grew up in Crosspool. And I'm here with what I'm going to say is, and with experience in the automotive industry, with the best exhaust and now manifold makers uh, in the country, bar none. And these guys do something which, as far as I'm concerned, I can't find other people that do it. They actually TIG weld. Now, TIG welding is pretty geeky, but I'm into it. It's something I can't do. Uh, but MIG welding is something I can do, which is fairly standard in the exhaust world and in the manifold world as well. Uh, we have two people here to meet. Uh, we have Dave here. You are the technical manager okay. of Cobra Sports. And we have Tony here, who is basically the Pele of the welding world. You are a pro TIG welder. Is TIG welding hard? Yeah. Are you better at what you do than he is at his job? Debatable. That's <laughs> probably. You guys use these for welding yeah. here. Why is that? Why do you TIG? Um, different chasers from the competition, and it's a higher quality of welding. Right, so why is that? What is it about TIG welding that makes it better quality than what most other people do? Um, it's aesthetically pleasing, yeah. and it's lighter and stronger. And I suppose they're the three key points, right? So it's lighter. I mean, I, I, so you've got some examples mm. of it here. Okay, so that is... MIG welding and I guess the reason I guess you can say it's it's lighter is because in the and that's the TIG one right yeah. there's less metal added yeah. in comparison to the MIG but in my mind okay I can see why it's lighter but wouldn't that surely mean that it's not as strong if there's less added metal to join the two bits together no. right why is that well you can actually control the weld pool on the TIG right you're literally joining two pieces of metal together with a pool and then adding filler rod. Hang on, what do you mean with a pool? You don't actually pool melt the metal, metal that you're welding together, do you? Yeah. You melt both sides together to make a pool. Right. And then you, you stack your dimes, so to speak, Yeah. with your rod. Stacking your dimes. Yeah, that's what it's called. Is, is that what it's called? It's <laughs> okay, let's go into the basics of the difference between the two. So I'll tell you what I know. So uh, MIG welding, you actually can see that little piece of wire sticking out of there. That is your weld wire, right? Yeah. And you squeeze the trigger and it comes out and you just squirt it where you want it. Yeah. Sounds simple. I Very can hard. do it. Yeah. It's simple, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I, you can learn to MIG weld in what? An hour. Okay, how long would it take you to learn how to TIG weld well? Two years. Two years? Okay, so you've got like an hour, two years. Yeah. Let's have a look at that, because I'll tell you what, whoever's welded this one, whoever in this building has done this, has done a fantastic job, because that is such a, that looks like it's almost been done by a TIG machine. Who is that person? Me. Okay. I'm determined to find a fault in it now. Hang on, just give me a second, will you? Just do your own thing for a minute. I bet you like that, aren't you? <laughs> that is some good welding. Let's talk about the colour briefly, because I know that the straw is supposed to be the one you want, but that's what I want. You know, aesthetically pleasing, that's what that is. That is, I've bought exhaust systems in the past because they've got the purples and the, you know, the golds and the blues and what have you. What is that? Um, just oxidization um, created during the process. So you can actually, you can just, you can just you clean it off. Clean it off. Yeah. But do you ever sell them with that on it? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that polished off. Yeah, we do, yeah. Because it, people like to see the colors. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, another question for you, just briefly. This is all very impressive, right? Uh, the steels that you use, I mean, it's all stainless steel. What sort of grade of steel is it? Um, 304 grade. Which means what? Um, it's got a minimum of 18% chromium and a minimum of 8% uh, nickel. Right, so it's about the fact that it's, it's an anti-corrosion material. In fact, you know what? Fuzz and I had an R32 GTR that we took to pieces on Car SOS and the car was rotten apart from this stainless steel exhaust, a full stainless. So I suppose in a way you invest and you invest once, you're gonna have it to pretty much for life as opposed to a system that's made of normal mild steel which will rot and rust and therefore you're gonna change it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How hard is it and how quick is it to weld? The, 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 if you and I were in a race, mm -hmm. migging versus tigging, right, who'd win? You. Why's that? It's just a speed. Migging's for speed. Tigging's more of an art form. Right. You take your time with it, you're proud of your work. Okay. So if you, if you, if you were to do this seam round here, you take a lot of time on that and get it. You know, Formula One race, race cars, if somebody's gonna put, the guys out there that put five million into a car, and there are plenty of them over in the States in particular, I guess there's not gonna be one of these things anywhere near their workshop, right? No, 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 and you'd, you'd bring in a Tigger. 
Because the funny thing is, in this industry, I know, I've met you, and I also know of about three other guys, and all they do, it's like people who spray cars. You know, they don't rub filler, they don't do anything else, they're, they're artists. And I've now finally met another artist, yeah. and it's a Tigger. No, that's what it is though. Tiggers are this sort of unique breed of human being that all they do is tigging. Do you do anything at home? Do you clean up? Yeah, everything. No, you don't. I, don't. I bet you say to your missus, no, no, I'm the Tigger. I don't do that. You can do that. I'm, I'm not doing anything else. I bet you have those days here where you're like, no, I'm not helping out. I'm not making the coffees. I'm not bending pipe. Do you bend pipe? Not at home, no. No, no. Do you do it here? <laughs> no. No, you have a pipe bender for that. Yeah. Well, fair enough though, because I know with experience that it is rock hard to do that and get it right. I tried with a piece of aluminium. I made the mistake of saying to a Tigger before, I could do that. And he was like, go on then. He gave me his, his torch and he just said to me, okay, fill a little hole in and a piece of aluminium. That's all he had to do. He demonstrated how he did it. He just did it in like two minutes. And I did it and it just melted the whole work. Because that's the, that's the danger. That's the risk with Tigging, isn't it? Yeah. You actually melt a bit of this and a bit of that to join the two together. Right. Whereas with migging, you've just got a just like bird splatter. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. Plus you get a lot of burn through on MIG as well. Right. So the inside of the tube will have all snot inside. Oh, yeah, that's right. It does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And you don't get that with TIGGING. And I do happen to know that if you have a load of snot inside, if it was MIG, then that would be, that would make it, that would have an impact on the performance of the car. Yeah. Albeit minor, it would be the flow of, okay. That reminds me a bit of when you're at school. Did you ever do that thing where you go like that? Yeah. Do you remember that? Looks a bit like that. <laughs> I've met a lot of people in my life and some of them I'd consider <laughs> If I can get away with that, you can bleep it if you want. Uh, I want proof. I'd like proof that this guy is as good as he says he is. What I'd like to see is some TIG welding and MIG welding alongside each other, both of them yours. Yeah. I want proof on camera that he's done them. Then I want to have a look at them. Go on then, you diva. Get out of here. example of MIG welding, but more importantly, the one you're most proud of. That is good, by the way. That MIG is good. It's much better than I can do. Oh, wow. Okay. That's something that I can only ever dream of doing. TIG welding. And thank you for educating us on the difference between the two and showing us people with true skill, because sure as hell, I'm not one of them.